How's it going? Hope everybody's doing great. Chris from Blu-ray Critic here. And on today's Blu-ray update, I got a really special treat to review called The American Horror Project. So this is a set of three lesser-known horror films released by Arrow Video in this beautiful box set. And a very character-driven films and a really unique movies with uh, wonderful performances and amazing cinematography for what they were able to achieve for, you know, independent films. And, um... Uh, one of the films uh, was basically lost for 30 years, and that is uh, Malatesta's Carnival of Blood. So, uh, yeah, they just didn't know where the print was up until 1999 when they finally found it. And uh, all three films are released on Blu-ray for the very first time. So uh, this is a limited edition set of only 3,000, so definitely get your hands on this one. And uh, like I said, the box set overall is beautiful. It comes with a really thick booklet as well. And as far as picture quality for all three films, you're going to get specks of dirt and debris throughout the film. You're going to basically get also scratches here and there throughout the film. Because keep in mind, uh, they were restored as best as possible. And I thought they did a really superb job uh, getting it restored for uh, 2K. So it's, um, yeah, restored under 2K. And I'm going to rate it a 4 out of a 5 for all three films for picture quality. And I'm going to give the audio a 4 out of a 5 as well. So let's take a look inside. And by the way, one of the films, which is uh, the second one in this box set, which is called The Witch Who Came In From The Sea, is uh, basically uh, DP'd by Dean Cundy, director of photography for John Carpenter's Halloween. So this is, of course, two years before Halloween came out. Uh, this film was released in 1976. So it's really great to see an early take of uh, Dean Cundy working on this film, you know, before he became huge and popular and worked on many other wonderful films with Spielberg on Jurassic Park. And the list goes on and on. Just a really talented cinematographer. So uh, let's take a look at the first film. And obviously takes place... At a carnival, at this dilapidated carnival, which uh, this family is looking for their son, and they, you know, they basically know that their son is lost at this uh, dilapidated uh, carnival. So they're trying to look for him, and then all these weird things happen to him. A uh, bunch of weird people, uh, crazy people, really bizarre uh, film. Uh, definitely uh, check this whole series out, man, and I highly recommend this uh, beautiful box set. So this is volume one. You're going to get more volumes coming soon. So, uh, yeah, just overall really nice. And I like how sturdy and thick this case is. So it's definitely not flimsy at all. So just beautiful job by Arrow Video. So let's take a look inside. And, of course, you get the reversible artwork for all uh, three films as well. So that's the uh, Blu-ray disc. And, of course, uh, the Mutilator, which was recently released from Arrow Video. And you get a copy of the DVD. So let me show you the original artwork. Malatesta's Carnival of Blood. So yeah, just interesting how this film was lost for like 30 years until they found it in 1999 and uh, got it going for this great release. So with this uh, release, you get uh, tons of special features. You get an introduction for the film. You also get the original mono track, as I mentioned, which I rated a 4 out of a 5. You also get The Secrets of Malatesta, an interview with director Christopher uh, Spieth. And by the way, this is the only film that Christopher Spieth uh, directed. And uh, yeah, you also get still galleries, outtakes, the draft uh, script, and much more. So let's take a look at the uh, second film, The Witch Who Came From The Sea. Here's the back. So this is, of course, a brand new 2K restoration from Original Vault Materials. You also get the original 1.0 um, audio track, which is the mono track. You also get uh, a bunch of other great goodies here. You get uh, Tides and Nightmares, brand new making of documentary featuring interviews with uh, uh, Simber, Perkins, Cundy, Dean Cundy. Brand new interview with Dean Cundy. So that was really great to listen to you know, from him as he chimes in on his memories from uh, making this movie. And uh, also actor uh, John Goff is a part of that uh, documentary. Plus a Maiden's Voyage archive featurette comprising interviews with uh, Simber, Perkins, and Cundy. Plus Lost at Sea director uh, Simber reflects on his uh, notorious cult classic. Here's the spine itself and I'll show you the uh, reversible artwork. So you don't get a booklet in here. The booklet is uh, separate, which I'll show you. It's a really wonderful, thick booklet. 
lots of great goodies to read in there. So here's the uh, Blu-ray disc, DVD, and you get the original poster art there, artwork, really beautiful. I love how, you know, Arrow always does this, they give you the uh, newly commissioned artwork and then the original artwork so you can flip on both sides, really unique and wonderful job by Arrow. So, uh, yeah, the witch who came in from the sea is basically about this woman who basically brings a man into a room and ties him up and starts, like, uh, slicing them up with a razor blade. Just a really bizarre film. And, uh, like I said, character-driven movies, wonderful performances, considering they're independent movies. All right, and the third film, The Premonition, which was another bizarre horror film. And this one's about a mother who has a five-year-old daughter, and she fears that there's this uh, crazed woman who's trying to kidnap her daughter and take her away. And uh, she's trying to figure out if it's really happening or if her state of mind is just, you know, going insane. And uh, overall, again, a character-driven film, bizarre movie with wonderful performances. So this one features a brand new 2K restoration from original film elements, plus uh, tons of special features. You get uh, audio commentary with producer, director Robert Allen Schnitzer, plus pictures from a premonition. It's a, a brand new making of documentary. Featuring interviews with Schnitzer, composer Henry Milliconi, and also cinematographer Victor Melt, plus archive interviews, trailers and TV spots, also three Alan Schnitzer short films, which was a really great added treat on there to watch, uh, really great short films, plus uh, you get four-piece spots and the reversible artwork, which I'll show you. So this film was released in 1976, you get the Blu-ray copy right there. Nice artwork on the discs. Here's the DVD. And I'll show you the original artwork, which is pretty darn creepy. If I could get the disc out of here. All right. Look at that. Really trippy. Love that artwork. Definitely going to be reversing onto that side as well. All right. So let me show you the booklet. And definitely get your hands on this one as soon as possible. As I mentioned, this is a uh, limited edition set of uh, 3,000 only. So definitely get it before it's sold out. So a wonderful booklet with a lot of great pictures and the great notes to read about the production of the films. Look at that. This guy's really trippy looking guy right there. But uh, just another solid release by Arrow Video. So that's the American Horror Project set of uh, three obscure lesser known horror films but uh, wonderfully made movies for what they are, considering they're independent movies, but uh, wonderfully acted, and of course featuring Dean Cundey, uh, two years before the success of John Carpenter's Halloween, working on uh, The Witch Who Came From the Sea. So thanks for taking a look at my review for American Horror Project on Blu-ray, and I'll see you guys soon in my next update. Take care.